All right, this is where we left off last time. Um, yeah. So here, this was working from last time. Let's erase this. So, um, we want <coughs> to do this part of the question. Where it says the bearing of P from S is 205. Mm -hmm. Let us see. The bearing. No. You have to remember your bearings. Yeah? You have to remember your bearings. What did you get for the answer when you did it? Because you know you're supposed to do it before you watch the video, right? The bearing of R from S and the bearing of S from P. Let us see. The bearing of P from S is 205 degrees. Alright. Remember now. When you say from S. S is where you draw your north line. Right. And you make your arc. To P. I remember bearing some radar from the north in a clockwise direction. Alright? So this is 205. So the bearing of P from S is 205. Determine the bearing of R from S. Alright, so R from S. The bearing of R from S. <coughs> that means the angle you want is this. Alright? That is the angle that you want now. Alright, so how are you going to do it? The thing is, you can see the angle here. This angle is what? You can see that angle PSR equals 72 plus 25, which is what? 5, 1, 2, 7, 7, 8, 9, 97 degrees. Alright? And then, if all of this is 205, to get this part, all you do, you just go the... Oh, the bearing of P from S. What did I label earlier? Hold on, hold on. I made some mistakes earlier, I know. The 205, let me write properly. Not really a mistake, but I didn't label this properly. Let me label this properly. This is 205. Alright, good. 205 degrees. Yeah, that is a 205, so you can see it clearly. <coughs> the answer we want is, I remember put A and S for the answer here. And then, i label this here. See, this is 97. Alright, good, good, good. I have them clearly now. So, all of this is 205. From here to here is 97. And we want this. So, we want this, basically, this angle. So, all we do, if we go all the way out here, this 205, then you back 97 off it, and you get the answer. Alright? So, they ask for the bearing of R from S. Let us call it R from S. So, R from S is going to be equal to, we're going to calculate it. R from S. Just do that as shortcut. Um, R from S equal what now? Um, it's going to be 205 minus 97. 
that's what you're going to have all right 205 minus 97 all right so borrow one from zero can this is um one this is nine 15, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 8 that you have there. So 15 minus 7 is 8, 9 minus 9 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. So you have 108. So the angle there is 108. So the answer for this is 108 degrees all right of course you would do the calculation here but we have the diagram over the other page so just doing the calculation over there it's from p now s from p all right so let's see what's going on here s from p is this going to go When you say S from P, when you say from P, you know, P is where you draw your north line, right? And you put your arc. Bearings are measured from north in a clockwise direction. So S from P would be this angle, all right? No. You want that angle. Let us erase part of these things. Now suppose we do this. And we could find it. Well, we would need an arrow there. If we extend this knot line down, it would be similar to that angle, right? Now how can we find all of that angle? All right, so we know that this 97 went all the way over here and this 205 went all the way here. Can we find that angle? Um, how are we going to find it? <coughs> if we have, this is what again? This is 72 degrees. Suppose we consider that this go all the way here is our 205, right? So this 205 goes from here and go all the way around here. Now this angle here, well this is a straight line. The north line is a straight line. So this is 180. So suppose we redraw that part of the um the R from S. R from S. I don't want to lose the R from S because I want to use this space. R from S is um 108. I don't know if you're going to have to use that. 108 degrees. Alright, so <clears throat> let's erase this part now. We have our R from S written down. Now, this part of the diagram, you know, what we're saying here is that you have 205 going around here. Right, two o five degrees. That's this angle from here coming here. You see that? And our S is right here. But remember now, from here to here is one eighty. All right. So if we say 205 minus 180, we go 205 or minus 180, then we get this. You see? 
that's what we're looking at happening here. This is 180. All of this is 205. 205 minus 180. All right. So, <coughs> 205 minus 180 equal. Um, what is that? Let's just use your calculator and deal with it. So we say 205 minus 180 equal 25 degrees. Oh. All right. And then this is 25, therefore. So this angle is 25 degrees. Then what you have, right? This angle, in this case, what you have is an alternate angle. So these two angles, alternate angles. So <coughs> therefore, what do you call it again? S from P. So this angle. The bearing of S from P must be equal to 25 degrees. Alright? So, the, uh, the bearing at P, uh, bearing at S from P, is an alternate angle. So, if you call this M, it would be PSM. Alright? It would be alternate to PSM. In this case, so what you have is 25 degrees would be the bearing of S from P. Ah, that is the end of, <coughs> of question 9. <coughs> we move on to question 10 in another video.